Hi, my name's Matt Riley, and uh, I'm here to describe my pole painting technique. I'm kind of going for a, uh, <laughs> a bit of a Christmas theme. I, I want Renaissance colors, so I've uh, already pre-mixed my paint here, so I'm ready. So what I do, uh, I was trained at my ad as in painting and printmaking, so this is kind of my printmaking approach. Pour on some paint here. It's almost like making food, except it doesn't taste very good. Arms around you, baby, is all I can see is hey. Let's just get it going. And then a little Christmas red. And some Kona brown. This stuff's great. One of the games is to try to stay away from primary colors. So I usually mix my own palette and get ready for it. <clears throat> so bottom line, I just kind of get this paint going. And if I see any imperfections, I gotta get in there and take them out. But it's thick right now, so that'll probably smoosh in there. And get it going. A little help there. So the whole process is, uh, it's kind of it's cool. It's basically, friction and gravity and then I'll pull it apart and then I'll probably have to go in again to get this going but, uh, then I just kind of get the paint moving and mixing and I just gotta get a little heavy here I put it back together. And this time, I'm going to rip this way. And there's a lot of paint on there, so I'm going to have to move it around a little bit. And now, let's see what's happening. But you can see how the paint starts to react, and it, it'll, it'll all open up as it, as it dries. But I just think it needs a little bit more color. Yeah, see, now we're talking. And sometimes if I if I get some areas that are light, I'll just go back in, fill them up. The stash. <laughs> Let's try a little blue in this. A little bit more paint. Ooh, garish. Thanks for taking the time for watching my pole painting technique. Um, this is it. It's crazy, it's wild. When it flattens out, I'll give you another shot. <laughs>